In this video, you will learn how to add a PayPal button to WordPress with the Elementor plugin. And adding a PayPal button to your WordPress website is a very straightforward process that enables you to accept payments or donations seamlessly. And first of all, to add a PayPal button like this to your WordPress website, you will need the pro version of Elementor, which you can purchase for only a few dollars per month. And this will give you many more useful options at your disposal, as I have already explained in previous tutorials. So if I now go over to the plugin overview, this dashboard for the website, if I click on plugins, now you can see an overview of all the plugins. And here you can see the Elementor, the free version, so the basic plugin. And below that you can see the Elementor Pro version. So that's the Pro upgrade that I mentioned a few seconds ago. You can download the free version of Elementor just by going to add new plugin, then search for it, just type in Elementor in the search field. And then you can download and activate the plugin and for the Elementor Pro version, how you can install that. I have already explained that in a previous tutorial, but basically it comes down to you need to log in to the Elementor website with your login credentials. Then you can download the Pro upgrade from there. You can download it as a zip file. And then you need to upload it over here at the add new plugin option. So make sure you have the free version of Elementor and also the Pro add-on activated for your website. And then you can go to a page or a post. So for this example, I will show it for the home page. So if you click on edit with Elementor, then the Elementor editor will open up as you can see over here. Now let me delete the button. So I'll show you from scratch how you can edit. So now you can see that it is removed. You can see over here at the left menu that the widgets are already shown and you can get to the widgets just by clicking on the icon with the nine dots over here. So if you click on it, then you will see this screen. Here you can see the widgets and they are organized by category. So over here you have the basic widgets and below that you can find the pro widgets. And if you scroll all the way down, then you will see the PayPal button. So what you need to do is you need to click on it. Then you can drag it onto the canvas or a, on a location that you wanted to place it. So for example, I will edit over here, just drag it there. Now you see that the button is added to the page. Of course, I can also set it to the center. So to do that, I make sure to go to the content tab. So this is, that is this tab. Then you can scroll down to the button options, click on it. And here you see the alignment option and there you can select center. So another option you have is you, if you go to the style tab, click on it. And here you see the typography option. And if you click on the pencil icon, then you can see that the size slider is available over here. You can click on it, and just slide it to select the size of the widget. And if you want to change the font that is used in the button, you can also go to typography, click on the pencil icon, and here you can see family. Now it's set by default, but if you want, you can also select another font over here. So now if you go back again and you go to the color option, by default it's set to blue, but if you want to, you can also select a different color over here. I'll leave it at this, but that is how you can change the color of the button. And to link the PayPal button, to your PayPal account, it's important to go to the content tab. So over here, click on content. Now you can see this option, PayPal account. And below this field, you see this message that says transactions made through your PayPal button will be registered under this account. So what you need to do is you need to enter the email address that is connected to your PayPal account over here. So then that email address and that account from PayPal will be connected to this button. There are also several other useful options. So for example, you can set the transaction type over here by default it's set to checkout, but you can also set it to donation or subscription. So that's up to you. If you have products on your website, you can give it an item name. You can enter the SKU number, which stands for stock keeping unit. And it's a unique number assigned to, uh, to products. And you can also leave this field empty. And it's also possible to set the price and the currency and by default it's set up like this and below that there are also a couple of options for quantity shipping price and the tax and below that you can see the button settings so if you click on it here you can change the icon spacing so that's the spacing between the icon and the text set it also back to default like this and if you go to the additional options and click on it you have the options for sandbox and whether you want to paypal to open in a new tab my advice to leave it to the setting because if it opens in a new window then the visitors will stay on your website so just leave it as it is you can also set custom messages if you want to so if you click on it now you can see that you can enter the text that you want to show up 
when a message or when an error appears so for an error message now it says an error occurred but you can change it and if the default is that paypal is not connected then you can see this message so no payment method connected you can also just leave it at the default settings like this and after you have finished all the settings you can click on the update button so don't forget it because otherwise the settings won't be saved so always click on the update button and now you have added a paypal button to your wordpress website with elementor i hope you found this tutorial helpful you can support me by liking the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also if you want to stay up to date on new videos that will be uploaded make sure to click on the notification bell thanks for watching and i'll see you back again in the next video